Welcome to the Honda Power Equipment video, VersaTach Edger Attachment, Operation and Maintenance. For information regarding the power head or other attachments for the VersaTach system, see the appropriate video. For your safety when using any of the VersaTach attachments, read all of the safety warnings and other instructions in the applicable owner's manual before use. Always wear the proper safety equipment. The VersaTach attachments have a separate serial number than that of the power head and it's recommended that each be registered with Honda to receive important information or when making technical inquiries. Please take a few minutes to register your unit online at powerequipment.honda.com forward slash registration. To install an attachment to the power head, simply loosen the joint knob. Twist the set pin knob 180 degrees from its locked position and firmly insert the attachment tube so that the black arrow on the attachment tube is aligned with the projection just ahead of the set pin knob. Once the attachment is inserted fully, an audible click will be heard from the set pin knob as it locks the attachment in place. Once fully inserted, use the joint knob to secure the attachment as shown. The power head should never be run without an attachment or damage to the power head may occur. Before operating the VersaTach Edger attachment, let's identify its components. The major components of the Edger attachment are the shaft tube, edging blade, blade guard, height adjustment knob, gear case, wheel, and the protector. Once the attachment is securely installed, it's recommended to inspect the edger and the power head for possible safety concerns like loose parts or damaged safety guards. Never operate the edger without the safety guards installed. Always hold the edger to your right side to prevent contact with the hot muffler. With the engine started and running, align the grass area to be edged with the edging blade. And with the edger to your right, slowly move forward while edging. It's recommended to increase the throttle to full speed for maximum edging efficiency and allow the engine to idle when not edging. To change the edging depth, first be sure the engine switch is set to the off position with the engine not running. Then, loosen the height adjustment knob which allows you to move the wheel up or down to set the desired edging cutting depth. Once the desired depth has been set, tighten the height adjustment knob securely. Keeping your VersaTach edger clean and free of debris will not only extend its life, but keep it looking good for years to come. So it's recommended that you inspect the edger, blade guard, and gear case for debris buildup before operating. Only attempt to clean portions of the edger and power head with the engine off and the engine switch to the off position. Never use water or a water hose to clean the edger. With a few simple maintenance steps, your VersaTach edger can be trouble free for years to come. Closely inspect the edger for loose or damaged components, including the blade, blade guard, or the wheel, and replace any damaged components or take it into your Honda Power Equipment dealer. If during your inspection you find that the edging blade is damaged or has worn excessively, note that the edging blade should not be sharpened and should only be replaced. To begin replacement of the edging blade, be sure the engine switch is set to the off position and the engine is stopped. With gloves on, Use the supplied hex wrench and insert as shown to lock the gear case. Use a tool to loosen the blade holder bolt, which is reverse threaded. Replace the edging blade and reinstall in the reverse order of removal, noting that the edge blade bolt is reverse threaded. Securely tighten the edge blade bolt to 13 foot-pounds using a torque wrench. If you don't have a torque wrench, consult your local Honda Power Equipment dealer for assistance. About every 20 hours of usage, the edger gear case should be greased using NLGI number no. 2 grease or equivalent. To grease the edger gear case, use the supplied hex wrench to loosen and remove the grease nipple on the gear case and set the nipple aside. Add grease until no more grease can be added and then reinstall the grease nipple and wipe up any excess grease. For additional information regarding the VersaTach edger attachment, refer to your owner's manual or contact your Honda Power Equipment dealer.